guys. So, I've already done my bases, you guys can tell. So, I'm just going to do an eye tutorial today. You guys want me to do the lip combo with it, so I'll try and do a lip combination to, to this eye look today for you guys. Okay, without no more jabbering, let's get to the eyes. <laughs> Funny story, I actually don't know what eye look I'm going to do today. <laughs> I feel like that's like me every day. I have like a couple ideas. I'm loving like a deep smoky eye again, even though I just did one like, oh, did I do one last week? No, I didn't. I did the rose gold one. <gasps> Maybe I can do that. Or do I want to do like a cut crease? I just feel like doing a cut crease. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm using like the manual settings guys today, so hopefully it turns out good. Um, I went and did a photography class yesterday, ah! like with my, my sister's friends, and he was just so helpful, it was so interesting, so I learned how to use the camera properly, and I just can't wait to learn more. So it's exciting times guys, exciting times. Okay, no more jibber jabbering. I'm going to go prime my eyes, I'm going to use my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm also going to carve out my brows I just feel like it cleans them up a bit more makes them look a bit more sharper and structured especially for like a dramatic eye look like we are doing today I always just like to kind of carve them out otherwise if it oh, I just put crap on my face it can kind of look a bit meh but if it's like a more natural eye look then I don't really bother carving them out so guys the new Avengers movie came out and oh my gosh I cannot wait to go see it I'm such a Marvel fan and I cannot wait if you guys have seen it let me know what you thought I can't wait to see it don't give any spoilers away though okay don't spoil it I just want to know what you guys think I'm so keen to see it it's my sister's birthday in May so we're gonna go see it then so I'm holding off going and seeing it just so I can experience it with the fam. But oh my gosh, I'm so keen. I'm so keen for it. So for the crease colour, I'm going to take a transition first. I'm going in with this soft brown, the well used one from my Morphe palette. And mixing it slightly with some of the orange shade, that light orange shade. And just whacking that through the crease. And as you guys can see, I'm holding like the bottom of the brush, so when I'm applying the product, it's a light pressure rather than a harsh one. I just want it to fade into the brow, just softly. So now we have our initial shape, I'm going to go in with this medium orange with some of this coral shade from the Morphe palette. And I'm going in with the same brush that I used before. Just because I want it to fade in. So we're getting a couple of shades darker but it's still kind of in the same colour range. So they should just melt into one another. I'm bringing it through into the inner corner. I want the outer corner to be the darkest and it just fades towards the inner. Next, just taking that petite crease brush and some of that corally shade, I'm just going to plaque that on my outer corner and crease. And I'm just extending it out towards the tail of my brow and slightly bringing it in towards the inner corner. And as I bring it up towards the brow, like fading it out, I'm using very light pressure. And when I want to make it more pigmented in the crease, I just use more pressure. And taking a bit of those two oranges we've used and just softening the edges. Next, to begin to these two like maroony brown shades, I'm going to pack them on the outer corner of my eye with the same petite crease brush. And bring it slightly through the inner to the inner corner area with whatever's left on the brush. So initially just pack it on and then drag whatever's left through the crease. 
Then grabbing that corally shade, just blend out the edges of that maroon brown. And those previous two orange shades. Then taking this deeper brown shade on a pencil brush, I'm just going to pack this on the very outer V of the eye. And then I'm just blending the edges of that brown, that deeper brown shade, with those previous maroon shades on that petite crease brush. Then go back in with that brown if you feel you need to deepen it up in any areas. And then finally going back in with some of that corally shade. I just want to keep bringing it back because I want that to be a pretty big focus of the look. Is that corally kind of tone in there? So next I'm going to carve out my inner crease area. So half do a half cut crease. So I'm going to grab my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and an accent brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to start carving out the lid. And just soften the edges with my finger. So once I've got my two cut creases, I'm going to go in firstly with the shade Black Light and place that on my inner third of my eye. So I've done it about probably two thirds of the way, but I'm going to go and place. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm going to go place over top like um, a more pinky iridescent shade but I think before I do that I'm actually going to place um, custard which is like a pinky purpley shade right in between black light and the um, kind of corally brownie shades that we've got on the outer corner. It doesn't need to be super intense guys because we want the kind of iridescent shade that we're going to place on top to be like a more um, of the focus. This is just to help that fade into the browns on the outer corner. I'm just packing it on first and then I can blend it in afterwards. And then I'm just using whatever's on the brush, I'm just kind of fading it into black light so it's a bit softer. It doesn't have to be too perfect like I said, we're placing another shadow on top. I'm just going to grab some of those browns to soften it into custard. Just a little bit, kind of like that. Then I'm going that gorgeous tart shade from the Juvia's Place palette where we used custard from. I'm just going to place that in between black light and custard. I just wet my brush with some setting spray because I want to intensify the tart shade a bit more. I like that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just taking a bit of black light and just fading it into tart a little bit and that is like basically a little transition. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this eye look. So I'm going to add a wing liner to this look as well. So I'm going to take my Everlast liquid liner and just line my eyes and do a bit of a wing. And there we go. Don't mind the wings being a little uneven. Oh, not my wing day. So next thing is mascara and lashes. I'm going to apply these off camera guys. So I'll be right back, honey. So for lashes today guys. And we're in with my Anitude lashes in the style Feisty. And they're just so beautiful. Like They just wisp out into that outer corner. But they don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow. Which is like... My perfect lashes. Looks like the perfect combination. That's all I want in a good lash. <laughs> so let's go on and line the waterline. So for my waterline, I'm taking my eye coal from Makeup Geek. It's the full spectrum eyeliner pencil in the shade Espresso. So it's just a brown eye coal. I'm just placing this in my bottom waterline. And I'm just dragging it under the outer corner lash line as well. Then taking this brown eyeshadow from before, the deep brown, I'm just placing that along the black brown eye coal under the lash line. Just smudging it out a little bit. Don't bring it all the way into the inner corner, just keep it about two thirds of the way across. 
I'm next taking that kind of mauvey, bricky brown shade and mixing it with our transition shade from the beginning and just smudging out that deep brown. Connecting it to that wing on the outer corner. You don't want to have that spot of just nothing. It's kind of like a outer smoky eye, so you want to connect it all up. For my brow bone and inner corner, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer and of course mix it with a bit of Ice Queen, my favourite in a corner and brow bone highlights and I'm just applying it to the very high point of the arch and then just use that light orange and transition colour whatever's left on that initial brush that we used it on and just soften the edges of that highlight and then I'm just placing on some of my Argan Wear Mascara on my bottom lashes and that completes the eyes so for the lips I'm designing them with an eye coal I know that's really unusual but I don't have a brown lip pencil so I'm just like lining it with my um, brown eye coal I use for my eyes and I just kind of ombre it so I fill in the outer parts of my mouth. And I just grabbed Pale Plethora, um, this like pinky nude liquid lipstick from Zoeva and I just start to like fill in my lips and as you can see I kind of like mesh it in with that liner so it's darkest on the outer portions and just softens into that pink in the center of the lip and there you go we have our lip combo. So, if you guys are wondering, this is the lip that I used in my rose gold makeup look last week. So, I don't know if you, you were asking, like, what the lip was, and that was, this is it, basically. Okay, guys, this wraps up today's makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you would like, subscribe down below before you leave so you can stay up to date with all my videos and tutorials. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. I love you all so much. Mwah! Bye.